how much does a good NVMe heatsink like this one from Thermalrite helps to reduce the temperatures of your NVMe drive and helps it perform better? We're gonna find out in this video. Not long ago, I purchased this crucial P5 Plus NVMe drive. This is a Gen 4 2 terabytes drive that is very fast, but it was reaching temperatures of 77 degrees Celsius, and I wanted to bring these temperatures down to help preserve this drive for long term and also maybe to make it perform better. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how this drive will perform without the heatsink. I'm gonna be measuring the temperatures and the performance. And I'm gonna install the heatsink and we're gonna measure the performance and the temperatures after I install the heatsink. And we're gonna see if it will bring the temperatures down and if it will help the drive perform better. So let's start first by showing you how this drive performs without the heatsink. In this first test, I'm gonna perform the heat test on the drive without the heatsink. Let me explain the screen a little bit for you here. So here I have crystal disk mark and here I have a bunch of small files and this is a cipher command prompt and these three programs here are to stress the drive to the max so that we see what is the maximum temperature that this drive will reach without the heatsink and on the right here i have the program hardware info so to get the measure of the temperature of the drive and you see when the drive is idle the temperature of the drive is hovering around 56 degrees celsius 57 degrees celsius without the heatsink so now I'm gonna start performing the stress test by running these programs. So let's start with the program Crystal Disk Mark, and then let's copy these files from the same drive to the same drive, and let's launch the cipher command. And now I will wait for about 15 minutes, and then I'll come back and tell you what is the highest temperature that the drive reached. So now after 15 minutes of stressing this drive, the maximum temperature it reached was 77 degrees Celsius, and this is considered a high temperature. So now I'll be doing the performance test on the drive without the heatsink. I'm gonna be performing two performance tests. The first one is crystal disk mark with the default settings, and the second test I'll be performing is copying a very large number of small files from the same drive to the same drive, and here I'll be measuring the megabytes copied per second, and also the maximum temperature the drive will reach. So let's start with the crystal disk mark benchmark. So now the crystal mark benchmark test finished and the maximum temperature the drive reached was 77 degrees Celsius and this is a little bit high and the speed that the drive achieved matches the advertised speed of the drive except for the right sequential speed which was almost 500 megabytes less than the advertised speed. So now let's go and perform the small file copy test. So now I'll be copying 81,792 small files that are 24.2 gigabytes from the same drive to the same drive that is without a heatsink. So the small files copy test was averaging 112 megabytes per second, which is a decent number. And it took 3 minutes 35 seconds to copy 24.2 gigabytes of small files. And the maximum temperature reached with the drive was 71 degrees. So now I've installed the heatsink. Let's start by performing the heat test. And the first thing that we notice here is that the idle temperature of the drive dropped from 56, 57 degrees to 49, 50 degrees. And this is really very good. So now I'm going to run the same stress test that I ran earlier. And I'm going to wait 15 minutes and I'm going to come back and I will let you know what is the maximum temperature that the drive reached with the heatsink installed. So now 15 minutes has passed and the stress test is still going on and the maximum temperature that the drive reached was 71 degrees and this is a 6 degrees gain from when the drive was without a heatsink and this is a very good score. So now I'm going to launch the crystal disk mark benchmark test and we're going to see if we're going to gain some performance as opposed to the drive without the heatsink. So now the crystal disk mark benchmark is finished and the first thing that we notice is that the temperature of the drive didn't go beyond 66 degrees and this is an 11 degrees celsius gain on when the drive was without a heatsink and for the performance results they are almost similar to the performance results of the drive without the heatsink and this tells us that the drive even without the heatsink wasn't throttling so now let's perform the files copy test and see if it improves on the drive without the heatsink. For the results of the small files copy test, performance wise, the drive with heatsink or the drive without heatsink performed exactly the same and they were averaging 112 megabytes per second and 
the time it took to copy 24.2 gigabytes of small files was 3 minutes and 35 seconds. Now, temperature-wise, the drive's maximum temperature didn't go beyond 63 degrees Celsius, and this is an 8 degrees gain on the drive without the heatsink, and this is not bad. Now, what we learned from the tests that we've done and the results that we had is that, at least for the crucial P5 Plus NVMe drive, the performance with heatsink as opposed to the performance without the heatsink wasn't improved, and this is because the drive wasn't reaching the maximum temperature without the heatsink that will trigger the drive to throttle. Now, this doesn't mean that we didn't gain anything from installing a heatsink on the Crucial P5 Plus NVMe drive. We dropped the temperatures by an average of 10 to 8 degrees Celsius on all the operations, and this is very good for the longevity of the drive. Now, if you had another drive that heated a lot and it was reaching throttling temperatures, the heatsink will probably bring down these temperatures and the drive will perform better. By the way, if you want to check out this Thermalrite M.2 heatsink, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel greatly. I hope that you found my video useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.